Hi, this is Lee Garrett, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Today, we're going to look at a couple of applications that can help to improve the default desktop experience on Mac OS. The first utility serves as a replacement for the dock, and that's called UBAR, and it's currently in version 4. Now, UBAR is a highly configurable tool that brings some of the advantages of a start menu and taskbar that you find in Windows to the Mac. And the second tool that we're going to look at is called SuperTab. And this fantastic utility will bring added functionality to the app switcher, you know, where you press command and tab to switch between different applications, as well as even more added functionality to the desktop itself. Now, this screencast does have a lot of content for you tinkerers out there, so let's get straight to it. Okay, first we're going to cover UBAR, and we'll begin by taking a look at where you can get UBAR from. So we can get it from two places. The first is directly from the developers themselves, Brower Software. And I'm on the product pricing page here. If I scroll down, we can see that you can buy a personal license for $30, or you can upgrade an earlier version for 15. And you can use this on up to two machines. If you want a commercial license, then it's $50 for a new one or 25 to upgrade. Now, alternatively, UBAR is part of a setup subscription that I know many of you have. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open setup I'll do a quick search for UBAR, and I have already installed it. So if I just click open, and at the bottom we have the UBAR taskbar displayed straight away, and I'm also prompted to accept notifications from the app. Now, like all apps that I install for the first time, I tend to accept them, first of all, until I gauge whether they are obtrusive or not, and then I can always turn them off afterwards. Let's take a look, first of all, at the UBAR interface and what we can do. So straight away, I'm sure those of you that are familiar with the Windows operating system will recognize the format and layout here. On the left-hand side, we have the Start Menu button. To the right of that, we have a Favorite section where we can pin our most used applications or files. And then to the right, we have the Open Running Applications displayed. And then further on to the right, we have some more system favorites. And you can also have a clock here as well, which I'll show you how to activate soon. So let's kick off with the Start Menu button. A left click will show a list of locations on your Mac that you can navigate to. We have applications, file locations, media folders. There are some system functions here as well as options for restarting and logging off and the like. Again, Windows users will know this very well. If you right click on the start button, then you can access the preferences for UBAR, which I'm sure it won't surprise you, we're gonna be covering in some depth as the screencast progresses. Now, while we're here though, you can change the appearance of the start menu button. And I know it's not officially called the start menu, it's called the U-bar menu. It's just, I've been brought up on Windows and it's impossible for me to not call it that. I'm sure some of you are gonna be the same. Anyway, if I click on areas, we can change from the UB icon to the word U-bar, as well as the avatar for the person that is currently logged in. I quite like that, so I'll stick with that. And I'll close the preferences window. However, you can also open preferences from clicking the start menu, going to U-bar and selecting preferences. Okay, let's work through the start menu a bit. To open an application, I'm gonna to go to applications and every application that I've got installed on my Mac are listed here. So I select the one that I want, let's go for Fantastical. And the application starts to open. Now I've just paused the recording here to show you the color of the Fantastical tab here. Now it's got some white diagonal lines which signify that the application is launching. And as you use UBAR, you may see two other colors if you use the app enough. So if they're blue, this means that the application is hanging, but you can restore it. However, if you have any red lines, then that means that you're bang out of luck. You're gonna to need to force quit the application in order to recover. Okay, back to running again. And Fantastical opens. If I right click on the Fantastical tab, then I can quit the app fully from here. Okay, let's go back across and take a look at accessing files. So I'll go up to downloads and UBAR needs to be granted specific access to my downloads folder, as well as other ones as well, like desktop and documents. So I'll click okay. And if I go back to downloads, I can now see the contents there. And as I say, it's the same for documents. So I'll grant access. And now if I go back into documents, I can see them listed here, and I'll click on one of them to open it. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. 
Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.